So I've come to realize how ridiculous it is that how we choose a president in this country. Like a couple years ago during the election, it never mattered what they did within the last year, just what they did like 35 years ago. And then everybody was always talking about who would you rather share a beer with or, or who would you rather be stuck in an elevator with? I mean, like to share a beer with Ozzy Osbourne or be stuck in an elevator with Pamela Anderson in heat doesn't mean I think they make good presidents. I mean, I can't even stomach George Bush on television, let alone being stuck in an elevator with him. You know, be like, we're stuck. Very deducive, Mr. President. I'm trying to jar it loose, you see. So, stop, stop, stop pushing buttons, Mr. President. Man, I'm bored. Let's play a game. Let's play I Spy. We're in an elevator, Mr. President. There's nothing to spy. God, man, I'm still bored. I, here, I got a ball of yarn you can play with. <laughs> so I guess I wouldn't mind if I had a ball of yarn for him to play with. He's funny, though. Like, Remember when the Social Security thing, he came out and he's like, I've seen it. There's not real money there. It's just pieces of paper, like IOUs. I'm like, y you mean like a check or a bond? I mean, what did he expect? To go into the basement of the treasury and find like Scrooge McDuck's money bin with all the so Social Security money for him to just swim around in? He's kind of off on a weird tangent. I think he sits there with like the risk game and, and just throws the dice and sees where he wants to go next. I'm really waiting for him to come on TV and be like, we're going to war with Switzerland. Yeah, they think they're so cool with their pocket knives and chocolates. Democrats won't take away your chocolate. That's all I got. I can do the running, man.